This is the White Tiger Knight YouTube channel. YouTube the White Tiger Knight for videos on weapon systems, trading, drum lessons, and home architectural plans. Appreciate it. The White Tiger Knight channel coming back with the RSI future stock predicting price movement with my E-Trade Pro glitch. Again, this is E-Trade Pro platform. I don't own the copyrights or the trademark of this platform. And, uh, you know, I'm a user of it. I pay for it. And this is personal experience only. Trade at your own risk. Live at your own risk. This is the RSI that I'm looking at. If you have E-Trade Pro, if you keep your eye out, you'll probably see this. It'll pop up. If you save it, it'll stay there for a while. It's not always correct. I'm not saying that I can predict the future stock price, although... This is kind of interesting, and some days it works correctly, as I've shown yesterday. Here's another glitch, as you can see in E-Trade Pro. And another one. So, so far, not batting a good average here, although I do have to say on balance that uh, I think the E-Trade Pro platform does work okay and is successful and is very user-friendly and, um, you know, is a pretty, uh, I guess, interactive, uh, for beginners, I would say, type of, uh, user interface, and they have, you know, interesting promotions, so, you know, it could be good for some people, that's why I'm using it. Again, now, this is not supposed to be doing this. The RSI should stop, it should, you know, if you can see all these other technical indicators, this right here, okay, shouldn't, you know, the MACD here stops, all right, the stochastic stops the volume. You know, everybody knows about volume indicators. Okay, stops with the price movement. Why is the RSI continuing? Why is this going up here? Does that mean it's going to go up? I mean, it just really throws me off either way. And, uh, you know, honestly, if you want to trade on that, um, you know, again, trade at your own risk. But, uh, you know, it's just misleading. And I think, honestly, if it does work out, then... You know, who knows? I might have a uh, stock predicting system here. But uh, I don't think that's the case. What I'm saying here is that this is an E-Trade Pro glitch right here. It's showing future RSI movement that should not be there. It throws me off when I'm sitting here trying to trade. And uh, it's really a problem. That's the main reason why I'm showing this. This is my user's experience and a kind of a tutorial and review of E-Trade Pro. So, and I think I have the right to do that because I paid for it. And honestly, this is not uh, really what I paid for, and I'm kind of uh, disappointed. But if it works out, who knows? It could be great. So, anyway, this is determining rise in the stock price of the QID, the inverse, okay? Triple Qs. As you can see, we gap down. Gap down. And again, another glitch in the eTrade Pro system. You got a candlestick chart, and it just stops printing. Another. OHLC, okay, of the Qs, QQQ, still just stops printing. Now, this is what we call a gap reversal, okay, as you can see here, the QQQs, I'll just point it out here in the inverse, the QID, okay, RSI was signaling the lower movement and it occurred. If the video is seen from yesterday, uh, you can actually uh, look back on it and go ahead and uh, look at it. Um, it basically uh, shows, and I'll put the uh, title of it here. It shows basically, uh, you know, right down in this area here, um, the QQQ RSI future indicator has stopped. So ever since I created that video yesterday, which is kind of funny and interesting, but it no longer shows, as you can see here, the future RSI movement. As I showed you with the inverse, which is in red, this is the, uh, you know, the positive side of that, QQQ, the NASDAQ, okay. And the RSI no longer shows future price action or future RSI action, you know, oversold or overbought conditions in the market anymore. So this is how charts should look. And this is how my current chart does look. So go ahead and explain that. I can't explain it. And, you know, some would say this could be a good thing. I find it to be kind of a nuisance. But 
If it works out, okay, great. We'll check later. So the stock price, as you can see here, is right there. All right, right around this level. Okay, market there, that green. The RSI is right around here. This is signaling an RSI of higher in the future, meaning that it's overbought, meaning that more people are buying and the stock price typically will be rising unless there's a divergence. But this is a lagging indicator from this. So if more people are buying, this will go up. If more people were selling, this will go down. Once it gets into this area, that means it's called oversold. That means more people are selling, and it can typically bounce as it did here. Same thing with stochastic and right here, the MACD. This is a volume indicator. Everybody knows about that. Okay, so I'll start the video in a bit, and we'll come back to this uh, in the future. On balance, I'm going to create just a little bit of a review before I can get into the future price action of the RSI glitch of the eTrade Pro platform. Now, uh, I have been a user of this eTrade Pro platform for a while now, uh, and I find it to be uh, rather effective, actually, and a fairly useful tool for day trading, active traders. The only main problem is the commissions, and they can work with you on that. So I actually would probably recommend, especially with a promotion or for a beginner trader, to try the eTrade Pro platform just to get used to stock uh, analysis, looking at uh, you know price action um, with other indicators, overlaying indicators, and uh, order entry setups. It's pretty quick. It's pretty ergonomical. So this is my you know fair review balance, trying to be objective here. Um, it does glitch in some occasions, as you can see here, but overall, I think it works pretty effectively. Okay, so again, just some common sense sort of, uh, again, you know, you can see here, <laughs> this is the uh, tool setup we have here. Alright, this is what they call a Fibonacci retracement tool. It's an arc, actually. Say the stock is trading up here and you think, wow, this is really uh, overextended. I wonder where we're going to come back to. So we typically come back to uh, key levels, as you can see here. You know, this is the center. We pull back to this level, okay, right around here. And we also pull back to the uh, overall level there. And we will bounce back again if you put this right where the stock movement is currently right about here. Okay, you grab this little guy there and put it near the current lows possibly and current highs. As you can see it works similar to a channel basically that you would draw. These guys get out of whack eventually. You can see that the triple Q's, which is the NASDAQ price action, has been in a substantial uptrend actually. Sideways to up actually. Little stairway here so again you know price action movement um, drawing trends obviously this would have been a pretty easy and big key reversal here right there to give a signal to you know pretty stronger days coming ahead you'd have to sit through a little bit of losses first but eventually it would come back you could sell at these points at the key resistance levels and buy again back at the key support then you sell okay at the key resistance levels after it gets overextended from the moving average and then as it comes back down to the key support you buy again it's pretty easy stuff right here and these little ladders are pretty easy to trade even box trades when it's trading flatly once it gets near support any resistance if you purchase there's a pretty good chance that it'll come back at least towards the average and you can sell for a minor profit take for example this area right here this major box trade between these levels if you knew that this level was acting as support and you purchased here on this day uh, and then you waited say a couple days or the next day you could have sold for a profit or vice versa shorted at the top here and covered for a profit so you know all of these things are possible with this platform pretty effectively the main problem again 
is the commissions. They're lower cost ways to actively trade, and um, they're pretty stingy with the uh, with the options availability. So if you want to sell naked calls or puts, or you want to have level four options trading, they're pretty uh, they're pretty stingy with that. So I'm gonna try probably I think some other brokers to see. Um, the availability of level four options trading if anybody knows anything about that um, I'd appreciate some comments on that again you know trend trading okay obvious uptrend here in the queues today a big gap up but we're seeing a reversal I mean this is just common sense stuff okay you look at the three minute you can look at a one day Okay, again, this is glitched out, but you see the gap up. When gaps fill, okay, everyone says it. Main traders say it. Gaps fill, gaps fill. This is a gap up overnight. It gaps up, and then it falls and fills. It fills this gap right here. Just perfectly. Look right now. It's just perfectly filling that gap. This is where we were trading yesterday, around the highs, around the resistance levels. We gap way above the resistance levels, bounce around, people are on crack, and then reality sets in, and boom, you fill that gap. Now, that being said, we could potentially bounce here and move higher. That typically can occur. If we fall below this level, we move lower, we're in trouble. But if you look at the moving averages here, we're already slanting down here. The MACD is below here. Everything is moving downwards. We could be set up for a little bit of a bounce, but we'll probably break down as we come back and hit our heads on the moving averages. That's why I think moving averages are effective for intraday because you can look at them. If it's above it, it could typically bounce for support and continue the up trend. If it falls, it will typically change into a downtrend and use these moving averages as resistance and continue following as continue following and following the moving average as it follows the price for the rest of the day until you can get a breakout above these moving averages and you can typically see a rise higher and we can probably see if this occurs later in the day again these are just day trading trip tips and tricks these are personal opinion personal uh, usage only trade at your own risk live at your own risk and uh, we'll come back and see what's happening with the RSI okay we're back now and as you can see the stock price here for the inverse has guess what people risen hard freaking core pretty well actually if I would have bought using this future indicator again I'm not promoting that I'm just talking about myself I could have made a profit off that and that's saying something pretty weird again if you look here it's looking at uh, a little bit of a fall and then possibly more of a pull forward um, this is just showing, basically proving, I think, again for the second day that this can be effective in predicting future stock movements, although I'm not trying to tell anybody to trade on this. Do not trade on this at all. I'm telling you not to. I'm only showing this because it's my personal opinion and my personal experience, and I think it's pretty crazy. I want to document this, um, and uh, that's that. So, boom, shakalaka. It's working now. Deal with that. Again, that's the White Tiger Knight channel. YouTube, the White Tiger Knight. For videos on stock trading, weapon systems, architectural renderings, drum lessons, options lessons, and anything you really want to know, right now I have a 200 subscriber giveaway where you can win free prizes. If anybody wants a title created, a little 3D title here, I can do this for you very cheaply, very effectively, very easily. I did this last night for probably about an hour or so, probably 30 minutes, 20 minutes or so. The rendering takes longer, obviously, but you don't have to sit through all that. You can just go... Uh, you know, drink some beer and watch a movie and come back and I think it's done. So anybody needs any help out, rate, comment, subscribe. Appreciate it.